14 days using this private trust affidavit of bilateral dispute. I've also used this affidavit to eliminate personal loans, car notes, and various other forms of bilateral agreements. Do you want to learn this skill? I got you. First, you need to call the contract issuer on your loan agreement. Now, if possible, record the call for evidence, but at a minimum, record the time, date, and who you speak with and what they said. Now, I have a full list of questions to ask, which will implicate any fraudulent practices, but here are a few that you can get started with. Was the contract signed by an authorized representative of your organization? How does your organization ensure that all contracts comply with the Uniform Commercial Code? Can you explain what specific consideration was be given by both parties in this contract? And we have over 20 other questions guaranteed to get your payments dismissed. UCC subsection 3-104 and 3-303 regarding negotiable instruments and consideration asserts that the instrument or contract cannot solely impose obligations on the borrower while the issuer has neither signed the document nor undertaken any binding commitment to provide the loan or any consideration. UCC subsection 2-302 imposes that the instrument or contract cannot heavily favor the issuer imposing undue burdens solely upon the borrower without corresponding duties or risks assumed by the issuer. Federal Trade Commission regulates under 18 CFR Part 433 asserts that the instrument constitutes a misrepresentation and fraudulent inducement if founded on false grounds. Now you can take what you've learned and move forward and eliminate all your payments and settle those accounts. Don't forget to like and share. If you have any questions, leave a